Okay, another exciting video tutorial from Suncoast Software. Today we're going to learn how to generate a collection of objects or a collection of classes. So let's start a new project. I'm going to do a console application. Call it list of objects. And the first thing we do once it creates the project is we'll create a class. I'm assuming you have a basic understanding of classes and objects. So I'm going to make a list of questions. So I'm going to call my class question class. And in the question class we're going to have a few properties. Let's make the class public. And we'll have a public string category. We'll have a public string question. We'll have a public string array of answers. And we'll have a public int for the correct answer. And then we'll generate, we'll, we'll make a, um, a constructor. And in the constructor we have to call the category, we have to call the class, the question, the answers, and the correct answer. So we'll do string category, string question, string array, answers, and int correct answer. The end correct answer is going to tell you what position the, the correct answer is in the answers array. So now the category equals in the constructor category question equals question <clears throat> and answers equals answers and then correct correct answer equals correct answer. Alright, that's it for the question class. Now back into the main program. We have to, actually we have to, we have to add a text file because we're going to be reading from a text file <coughs> to get our questions. So let me pull that up. I have a text file of questions for a trivia game I'm making. So we have that in, and then you have to go to the properties and set to do not copy. A copy to output directory to copy if newer. And we will bring in our using statement. We need the IO, system IO for the stream reader. 
and we're going to make a list of questions right here. Instantiates our question list so we can add to our question list in the main in the main method. <coughs> so to do that we need to you do the using. I always use a using statement when I when I read when I use a stream reader. history text file that we just imported here. So we we'll say history dot txt. Now we have to read line each line and add it to the question list. So we'll create a string a variable to hold the li each line. And then we'll loop through the text file line by line, reading each line and then splitting it up into an array and adding it to the question list. did here was while this while reader while not at the end of stream the the exclamation sign is says while not at the end of the the reader is not at the end of the stream this means that while there's another line keep reading and then it reads the line and it puts it in the line variable now we need a string array to hold the lines that we're going to split. We're going to split each line on a on the barrel. Because if you see in the history text file, it, it split the barrel right here. Right here it's split. This is the category, this is the question, this is answer, answer, and answer, and then correct answer here. So we're going to split that right now. If I could spell. Okay, now. Now we'll add the lines that we just split to the question list. Now we're going to need, we have to do a new question. We have to add it to the new question. And here we have to do the category, the string, the question, the answers, and the correct answer, which will be in the values. So the category will be at value 1, or value 0. And then the question will be at values 1. And then we need to do a new string array. And do values 2. Values 3. Use four and end it there, and then we need to 
the correct answer is going to have to be an int. It's a string value right now. We have to convert it to an int. So we'll convert it to an int 32, and we'll call it, we'll use values five, and that, and that should do it. Now we need outside of the using statement, we need to put console read key. This will keep the window open. This will keep it so the window doesn't close on us. Now, once we're all done with this, we can do the for each loop to write everything to the console. So we'll say for each question queue in question list. And we'll say console dot right line and we'll do q if I can find it q dot category plus space or right, we'll do a comma plus q dot question plus comma plus q dot answers plus we'll do string on that one. And that should do it. Let's run the let's run it and see what we get. Ugh, get an error. Out of range error. Okay, so now we can learn something new. I'll debug and see where I'm getting an error from. see what we got here. Let's go step through it. Step through it, step through it. We have zero in account. Now we have one. Hmm. Okay, I had to pause the video because I kept getting an error. The error was in the text file. One of the correct answers, the number, was missing. So I fixed it. So let's try to run it again and show you what we got. There we go. So now, you see here, each question is on its own line. It's got the category, the question, and the correct answer. Okay, let's try this one more time. I had another error that I couldn't figure out, but now I did. It was this right here. The correct answers, it was writing, I had to write the index for the correct answer. So let's try to run it again. Now let's see what we got. We have each question, the category, the question, the correct answer, and the index number for the correct answer. So I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment list below and hit that like button. Thank you very much. When, if you have any requests for videos, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them.